Hey, Dan Passarelli here. When I look at a stock chart, my goal is always to get the clearest picture of what's gone on in the past, right? And I bet that's your goal too. That's why you use things like studies and indicators and charting patterns and that kind of thing. But some charts that we look at are distorted by nature. Uh, for example, take a look at AMC here. So AMC, one of these meme stocks, they had a really, really big move um, you know, back on June 2nd, and that pushed the stock price up from like 10 bucks to 70 some bucks, right? And so when we look at the size of the candles, right, based on dollar moves, these are huge candles compared to this. In fact, if I look back and I look at, you know, February and March, I look at it and I say, boy, that stock was barely moving back in February or March. But because stocks move based as a percentage, that's not really true. There actually were some really big moves back then, but because of how the chart is laid out, we can't really tell. And so there's a workaround for that. And if we go to log scale, so click on use log scale, wow, the chart really changed a lot. What changed? Well, what log scale does, is it makes it so a move of say 5% at any point on the chart now all looks the same. Instead of it being based on dollar moves, now it's based on percentage moves. And so we can see, wow, there was a big move back here and it was pretty comparable almost to the moves that happened on this day. In fact, this one was probably even bigger as far as percentage terms go. And then when we go back to normal, we can see when, when the y-axis is based on dollars now, that it looks kind of flat as a pancake. Now, as an option trader, it's very important to look at stock prices in terms of dollars because we have strike prices, we have a delta that's based on dollar moves. And so my go-to chart uses a y-axis based on dollar moves. I'm just gonna call this a normal chart. But every once in a while, when I'm looking at charts like this, I like to go and I like to click on use log scale so that I can get some context and better understand how this stock has been moving. I hope that helps. This is Dan Passarelli, Trade Smart.